Hey, Kingdom Builders, welcome back to the altar. And if this is your first time joining me here at Kingdom Wealth Ministries, a special welcome to you, Kingdom Builders and newcomers. I have a word from the Lord for you all today. And it is a word that is not just encouraging, but this is a word that's going to be confirmation for many of you. And if this is your word, and if you're a newcomer, I invite you to go ahead and subscribe to the altar. The Lord brings good news through this altar. The Lord brings healing and deliverance through this altar. The Lord brings prophecy. There are many people, the Lord has met them right where they are. You know what? If you've been on this altar for a while and the Lord has met you right where you are and right where you have been, somebody type in the comments, I've been here for a while and the Lord has met me. Glory to God. We need to know that because there are a lot of people in the body of Christ who feel like God is not moving, that he's not doing things, that he is not speaking to people. And he is. And he speaks to many people through this altar. So if you're ready for the word of the Lord, after all that, somebody type in the comments, let's go, let's go, bring forth the word from the Lord. Amen. So the father is saying today that he is bringing his people mysterious blessings and unexpected open doors. Here's why this is important that you know this. Because the Lord showed me that these things that are coming, the mysterious blessings, the unexpected open doors, because they're unexpected and because they don't look like what you thought they would look like, many people, if not for this word, would miss out on them. And the Father desires for you to grasp a hold of every blessing coming your way. The Father desires for you to walk through every door that he opens. Somebody declare right now in the name of Jesus, I declare that I will walk through every door that God opens for me. Here's another reason why this is important. Because you know the enemy goes about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So as the Lord is opening doors for you, there is still an enemy out there walking around. As the Lord is opening doors for you, there is still a devil. There are still demons who don't desire for you to walk through. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm even hearing now in the spirit that the Father is delivering many of you from the things that hindered you in the past. Woo! If that was your word, somebody type in the comments, that was my word. That was my word. So these mysterious blessings, you might perceive them springing forth. Maybe some of you are in a season right now where you're like, oh, wow, that was weird. That, that blessing, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't looking out for it. This was a blessing that I didn't even know that I needed, but thank you, Lord. And I want to encourage you all to don't despise even the little things. And that's somebody's word. God has been telling you, don't despise the small things, the little things, the little blessings, because they're leading to bigger things for you. Amen. So even as you receive the smaller blessings, you know, the part-time job, the small small increase, more hours when you were just barely making it. Receive those things with gladness, a little breakthrough here and there. Amen. The mysterious blessings. These are things that don't look like how you wanted them to look. These are things that don't look how you expected them to look. You know, you had an idea of the promise. You had an idea of what it would look like, but when it shows up, it's mysterious to you. Some of you, you're going to be kind of dumbfounded by these, these mysterious blessings. Like, what do I do with this? I know it's a blessing. Oh, Jesus, I'm talking to somebody today. Who am I talking to today? today. If you're experiencing this, type in the comments, wow, just wow, wow. Amen. Mysterious blessings. 
things that you didn't know, things that you didn't expect, things that you have no idea what to do with. Here's the thing. The father wants you to walk it out. He wants you to walk it out, walk it through. You don't have to understand it. Just receive it. You don't have to understand it. Just receive it. You know, you might have gotten a promotion or your name may have come up in the room that you didn't set your foot in. You don't have to understand it. Just receive it. Your children come home one day and say, hey, I've been invited to go to London. I've been invited to go to this particular honorarium event. You don't have to understand understand it, just receive it. Money appearing in your bank account, people being good to you, money and blessings following you. You don't have to understand it, just receive it. Divine favor, doors opening out of nowhere, people from years ago calling you with the advantage, with the position, with the favor. You don't have to understand it, just receive it. Somebody type in the comments, I don't have to understand it, but I sure am going to receive receive it because the truth of the matter is you've been where you are for way too long. The father sees what the enemy has done to you. The father sees all the hindrances, all the confusion, and he is delivering you unexpected open doors and mysterious blessings. Why? So that you can come out of this lower place. These blessings, these mysterious blessings and open doors, they're going to elevate you. They're going to cause you to rise. They're there are many people, it's not missed on me. There are many people under the sound of my voice. You've been on this altar for a while. You've been a real true subscriber, amen, and shout out to you. But you've heard in the beginning, these prophecies coming out of this altar. I decree and declare to you that this is your word. This is your season. Now is the time for mysterious blessings and unexpected open doors. Why? Because it's been prophesied to you. Divine elevation. Some of you have been seeing prophetic numbers. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. You didn't understand that there was a time for everything. And now is is the time. So receive the mysterious blessings. Receive the unexpected open doors because God is using these things to elevate you. And I'm seeing somebody right now, you've been praying, God, don't leave me out of this move. You've been praying, eh, hey, bro, show taka by. I feel the Lord. You've been praying, God, don't leave me out. You've been praying, God, rescue me, rescue me, deliver me, heal me, bring me up out. God, I know that there's greater on the inside of me. God, I want to grasp a hold to the great things I've been hearing the prophet talk about. I want to grasp a hold of the great things that the apostle prophesied to me. And the father is saying, if you want to grasp a hold of it. If you want to go walk higher, you cannot walk away from these mysterious blessings and these unexpected open doors. Amen. Let's go to scripture. Deuteronomy 6 11. I'll read it in the message version. When God, your God, somebody type in the comments, my God, my God, my God, a lot of people don't understand your God. A lot of people don't understand the favor and the blessings that come with your God, the power that comes with your God. Somebody claim my God, my God. When God, your God, ushers you into the land he promised through your ancestors, see? If we can go back to January, a lot of you in my mentorship group, the apostle had you go back Study your family, study your ancestry, look for the blessings. Why? Because the Lord has placed blessings and promises and covenants within family. Some of you, you don't see it. You're not aware of it because you haven't gone back enough. But thank the Lord. The Bible tells us we can go back to Abraham. We can go back to Isaac. We can go back to Jacob because their promises and their covenants are ours too. If you are a believer, if you are saved, if you're saved, type in the comments, I'm saved. I'm saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. The blessings of Abraham's are, is ours too. Amen. So it says, when God, your God ushers you into the land, he promised through your ancestors, 
Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give you, you're going to walk into large bustling cities you didn't build, well-furnished houses you didn't buy. Come on, somebody. Come upon wells you didn't dig, vineyards and olive orchards you didn't plant. When you take it all in and settle down, pleased and content, Make sure you don't forget how you got there. God brought you out of slavery in Egypt. Thank you, great God that you are. He is a promise keeper. He is a covenant maker. He is a covenant fulfiller. And what is the Lord saying today? The Father has placed great promises down on the inside of you, even through your ancestry and your bloodline. Look, you don't have to know who the Lord made the covenant with. If you just want to go Bible, that's all right with me. That's all right with the Lord. And you should, because these biblical covenants are yours too. Somebody type in the comments, Bible covenants are mine too. These biblical covenants are mine too. And so what the father is saying, he is making good on the covenants in this season. Notice here these things that the Lord is showing us in Deuteronomy 6. Land, he promised. Land, he promised. Large bustling cities that you didn't build. You see the unexpectedness of this? Somebody giving you a city that you didn't build? It's like, that was unexpected, but I'll take it. Somebody opening a door for you so that you can do business in a city that you're not even from? Wow, that was unexpected, but I'll take it. Somebody saying, here, come in, sit with us, join us, and they are elite. And you're like, wow, I didn't even think that I would be amongst these elite people, but wow. I'll take it. It was an unexpected blessing, but I'll take it. So these things are unexpected. These things were unexpected even with the Hebrews, even with the Israelites. When they were slaves in Egypt and God was bringing them up out to go into the promised land, they didn't understand that they were going so high, that they were going into these abundant promises, that God would give them all of this. They didn't understand that the Lord would part the Red Sea. That was an unexpected blessing. It was something that God didn't tell them ahead of time. He didn't say, hey, by the way, the Egyptians, the, these haters, these people who want you dead, these people who are coming after your neck, they're going to still come after you even when I bring you up out and you're going to come to a Red Sea. But here's the thing, when you get to that Red Sea and it looks like all hell is breaking loose and you have nowhere to go, you have nowhere to run, then I am going to part the Red Sea for you. He didn't explain all of these things. So these were unexpected blessings. The large bustling cities, unexpected blessings. The, the, the parting of the Red Sea and unexpected blessings. Houses that you did not build. I feel that for somebody. Houses that you don't even own given to you. Land for development given to you as a result and, and the providential law of God. The covenants the promises, it is embedded in this. Amen. The father is saying, don't walk away from it because you didn't expect it. A lot of people are so afraid of the unexpected, walking from away from things just because you didn't come up with it, just because you didn't expect it, just because it wasn't on your vision board, just because you didn't pray for it. The Father is a God of unexpected blessings, unexpected open doors. He doesn't have to reveal everything to you. Amen. Somebody type in the comments, he doesn't have to reveal everything to me. Another person type, I sure receive my blessings. Amen. That is the humility of it, because a lot of people want God to do it their way. And if it's not how they expect, if it's not how they want it to look, then they walk away from it. Throw dirt on the blessings of the Lord. How dare we do that? If God wants to open a door for us, even if we don't feel qualified, even if we feel insecure about it, we ought to walk through it because if he brought us to it, that means we can do it. 
Amen. He wouldn't give you the offer if you couldn't do it. He wouldn't open the door if you weren't able and well able to walk through it. Don't deny and discount yourself. I hear God saying, and this is a word for somebody, that you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of this blessing. Go forth and take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Don't count yourself out. Whose word is this? If this was your, your word, somebody type in the, the comments, fire emojis, fire, fire, fire. And if you haven't subscribed to this altar yet, I don't know what you're waiting for because God has already visited you. God is already here. God has already spoken. And if you want more, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can hear the word of God and abide in Christ and live by what God is doing in this season and the thereafter. Amen. 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 The father showed me that many of you are scared to walk through the door because you don't know what's on the other side. My God, there's somebody I'm talking to today. You can see the door. You know, the door is here. The door's here. You know it. But you're afraid to walk through it because you don't know what's on the other side. God, am I going to be able to continue to pay for it? Am I going to be able to continue to fit the bill? Am I going to be able to keep these relationships intact? Am I going to be able to keep myself while still being this other person on the other side of the door? The father sees and hears all these things that you've been praying about. And the father is saying he would not have opened the door if you weren't well able to thrive on the other side. Walk through the door, walk through it with faith, Walk through it with confidence that the God who opened the door for you is the same God who will sustain you on the other side. Somebody type on the other side in the comments. He will sustain you on the other side of the open door. My God, look, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I can feel that I'm speaking to many of you, that I am tapping into something that is a right now word for you, for you in your life. Amen. And there's somebody watching today. You're like Apostle Juan. I wish this was, it was my word. Let's not forget that just because you don't understand it doesn't mean that it's not your word because this is a prophetic word, something that's going to take forth in the future. So there are a lot of people I'm speaking through word of knowledge. This is a word of knowledge for you. Like, yes, she knows where I am. But for others, this is a prophetic word, something that is about to happen, okay? Because prophecy is not just confirmation. There are many people who lived and died who fulfilled prophecies and received the manifestation of it, and it was not a confirmation. It was unexpected. You, you get catching what I'm throwing out of this altar today? Amen. Glory to God. The Father said you might not understand it, but trust him anyway. Where he guides, he provides. Know that. Where he guides, he provides. So there are many of you, the Lord has guided you. I feel God. Who Jesus, it's like fire shut up in my bones. Thank you, God. Thank you, oh God. Now is the time, the Father says. Now is the time, the Father says, to walk through the door. I am speaking by the Spirit of the living God. The Father says, now is the time. Break it, broke oh shakata. Now is the time to walk through. Now is the time. Now is the time. If you had any doubts, if you had any fears, now is the time. Somebody's being set free by that word right now. Now is the time in Jesus' name. Go through. Go through. Where he guides, he provides. The fact that the door is open is a sign to you that this is God's will. This is his will. And now is the time. Somebody type in the comments, this is his will. Another person with long hair type in the comments. This is his time in Jesus name. Hallelujah. I don't know who's watching with long hair. Glory to God. But type it in the comments. <laughs> I heard the father say, make it work. Make it work. So there's some things, some opportunities springing forth. 
maybe even um, coming up within the next few weeks, the next few months, the father is saying, make it work. So you might feel inadequate. You might feel like you can't even take this opportunity. The father is saying, yes, you can make it work. What do you have to do? Do it. Make it work. Don't miss this is what he's saying. Don't miss it. Don't let them walk away. Don't let them close the door. And even if you see the door closing by some type of demonic and satanic force, and we're going to pray at the end of this, but if you see it closing by some type of demon interference, you better pray. It's your responsibility to pray. Don't let that door close. Don't let nobody get in the way. Don't let no demons interfere with your open door, with your success, with your prosperity, with your ministry, with your business, with your marriage. Don't let the door close. Make it work. Somebody type make it work in the comments. Make it work. Make it work, people of God. If you got to pray a demon up off of your property, make it work. If you got to pray a demon up, up off of your children, make it work. If you got to pray a demon up off of that job, up out of that position, make it work. If you have to rebuke, if you have to bind, if you have to loose, if you have to call down fire from heaven, make it work. Make it work. Amen. If you have to say, uh, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. I see y'all trying to close this door. Um, I'm here. I'm here. What, what do we need to do to move forward? Amen. Make it a bro. Show cuts out. I feel this for somebody. Whose word is this? When Jeremiah said it's like fire shut up in my bones. I feel it. I feel it. I am a feeler. Shout out to all the feelers out there. Amen. I can feel it in my body. And that somebody is tapping into this. Somebody is tapping into this from here. Somebody's going to make the business work from here. Somebody's going to make the ministry work from here. Somebody's going to make the deal work from here. Somebody's going to make the closing work, the real estate work from here, from this video, from this day forward. Hey, it's working in Jesus name. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Lay your hand on your chest and say, in the name of Jesus, it's working working for me. It is working for me. And I am making it work by the power of God in Jesus name. Glory to God. The father said, make it work. Whatever you have to do, figure it out. If you have to study a little longer, if you have to wrestle with some material, make it work. If you have to scrap the project and start again, make it work. Whatever it is that needs to be done, make it work so that this door does not close so that you can walk into it. I hear God saying that there is somebody who has an opportunity and you're worried about the inventory. The father is saying, make it work, make it work, make it work. Don't allow the door to close. Yeah, break yeah. Who am I speaking to today? I love the Lord. I love his word. Oh, but when God starts flowing and speaking, who it causes me to reverence him at such a higher level. It causes me to worship him at such a higher level. Why? Because I know that he loves you so much that he will cause me to move and feel something in my body so I can give this word to you with authority, with power, and with confidence so that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is your word and that this is the Lord speaking. I'm like, God, whatever you need to do, I'm here, God. I'm serving the people of God. Amen. And I love it when he shows up in this way. I don't know about you, but I can feel God. And that's why I keep going on and on about it. If you can feel God, type in the comments. I feel God on this. I feel God on this. Are there any of my mentees watching from the, the mentorship group? Type in the comments. Your mentees are here. Your mentees are here. Are you feeling this mentees? Type in the comments. I feel God on this. The Lord said, make it work. I want to remind you of Jeremiah 29, 11, because the Lord gave me this scripture for a lot of you. I'll remind you, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Notice what these plans are. Plans to prosper you. God has plans to prosper you. That is why the door is open. 
That is why you're receiving unexpected open doors and mysterious blessings, because this is an alignment with God's plan to prosper you and not to harm you. So the door has not opened to harm you. He is not saying walk through so he can harm you. He is not given this blessing and this unexpected opportunity to harm you. His, his plan is to prosper you and to not harm you. He says plans to give you hope and a future. Understand this, that these mysterious blessings and these unexpected open doors, it's leading to even a greater future. Don't despise small beginnings because this is a stepping stone. Somebody type a stepping stone in the comments. It goes up from here. Hallelujah. It goes up. 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 Up and up, up and up, up and up from glory to glory, moving forward forever and backward never. It goes up from here. This is the beginning of up. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, divine elevation. It goes up from here. Somebody say it goes up from here. It goes up from here. It goes up in Jesus name. So even if it's a small mysterious blessing, even if it's a small open door, reverence it. Praise the Lord for bringing it to you because the very reason why he is giving it to you is because he's taking you upward from here. Amen. Now there's a part that you play in it. Okay. Because how many of you know the enemy is not going to lay down easy. Okay, you're going to have to pray. You're going to have to stay consistent. You're going to have to work at it. Whatever God is saying you have to do, do it. That's the part that you play so that you don't miss out on these moments, people of God, because who knows when the next one will come? And that's period, point blank. Who knows when the next one will come? These open doors, who's to say God's going to keep them open forever? Who's to say if you walk away from this one, another one will present themselves? Stop thinking like that. That is such a poor mindset. It is time for you all to elevate in your thinking, to make the most out of this opportunity. Allow the Lord to redeem the time because the, the seasons, the times are evil. We are living in the last days, in these wicked days, in these dark times. Who's to say that these favors are going to be available for you in the next season? So make the most of today. Make the most of today. Make the most of today. Hear me by the spirit of the living God. Make the most out of what God has given you today. Don't complain about it. Don't stress out about it. Don't get frustrated on it. Make the most of today. Redeem the time, I hear the Father saying. Amen? Amen. Let us pray, brothers and sisters. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, that your people will not walk away from these mysterious blessings and these unexpected open doors. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will give them divine confidence and strength to walk through every door that you have set before them. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, that you will begin to make clear to them what they are, who they are, and the part that they're to play in these end times. Father God, it is not missed on me that we are indeed living in the last days, and these are your chosen ones, oh God. So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that they will draw near to you, that you will draw near to them, that you will keep them abiding so that they can walk through every open door and result in building and, and, and expanding your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every satanic and demonic force coming up against their destiny. I decree and declare that their destiny is the Lord's. Their destiny belongs to God. So right now, I come Man, every satanic and demonic force to flee from their lives and hop up off of their destiny. In the name of Jesus, every hindering force, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus be against every satanic and demonic force trying to hinder the people of God, trying to close the open doors. You cannot close the door that God has opened. Remove yourself now. Go in 
to the abyss in Jesus name. I command you to do so now. I command you to do so now in Jesus name. I speak abundant blessings upon you, child of God. Chosen one of the Lord, may an anointing come upon you that as you walk through this door, you will be an anointed one on the other side. You will be blessed on the other side with more power, more authority, that you will become a new person in Christ on the other side of this blessing. You will become even more powerful on the other side of this open door, that you won't lose yourself completely, but you will evolve into a higher self your higher self, a higher dimension in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I pray you receive this word of the Lord. And if this was your word and you feel led to do so, I invite you to sow a seed on this altar and into this ministry. You can find the information on how to do so in the description box. And if you felt the fire of God and you know that you have to get into a room with me, through this anointing that he has given me. I invite you to Revival in Dallas, Texas. On October 10th, we'll be meeting. The word of the Lord will come forth. There will be healing. There will be prophecy. There will be deliverance. There will be fire in Jesus' name. Because there are a lot of you who've been delayed, you've been hindered, and you've lost your fire. God is returning this fire, this passion, back to you. I invite you to join us in Texas on October 10th. You can find that information in the description box. Thank you to all who support this ministry. Thank you to all who like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Amen. I love you all. Thank you. I keep coming back for you. I pray that you feel loved. Most importantly, I pray that you feel the love of God coming through me every time I show up on YouTube. Amen. God bless you all. I'll see you in the next video. Go forth and prosper. Goodbye.